Hey y'all, another cold morning. Whew. All right, we're gonna try to get this goat hauler contraption built today. We gotta feed cows, get the goat hauler built. Hopefully go get the goat. The pigs are fed, the chickens are being fed right now. <laughs> Jeremiah's slipping on the ice with a whole flock of chickens. Even the chickens are slipping on the ice. <laughs> Turkeys too. Funny. He's like the Pied Piper for chickens. Cows are over here on the ridge. Right along the fence line there. They're looking for hay. I've got it right here. I don't know if you can tell. Snow flurries over there on the mountain. It's snowing a little bit like, well, flurrying I should say, but yeah. It's probably gonna be flurrying harder here in a minute, it looks like. But anyway, let's feed some cows and work on a goat hauler. All right, y'all, we're in the barn. We're ready to build this milking stan- or not, I keep calling it a milking stanchion. What in the world? It's not a milking stanchion at all. We're building a goat hauler to fit on my truck because I can't get the trailer off the mountain with the snow. So, and we need to get this buck so we can get our does bred. So we're building a goat hauler. So we're gonna do this right now. All right, y'all, we're outside because I think that it'll be easier to assemble this on the truck. My original plan was just to assemble it on the floor in there, but then I got to thinking if I build it exactly square rather than to fit the truck bed, I may end up with it being um, where the legs won't actually go down into the bed without prying and carrying on. So I think I'm just gonna build it on the truck bed. So we're gonna start out by putting our front on and we're gonna let the cab be the front, but I do have two pieces that are gonna go across the front of the bed rail and then across the top so here we go
All right, well that is this goat hauler. Pretty much it. No way they're gonna get out when the tailgate's closed. What do you think, baby? Looks good to me. Is it is it fancy? It's very fancy. It's a highfalutin. It makes me feel extra classy. <laughs> Hang on, I got. Uh oh, you got hung up. I got a block of wood right there. Hey, uh. There we go. Hi. Uh, Hi, y'all. I'm still alive. <laughs> yeah, she is. I haven't been. It's in been too cold for the little wife. I have been hibernating. I'm like, mm, yeah, See, I'm not going out there. It, it's open. It opens up when okay. it's tailgate opens. So. Good deal. Let's go get a goat. Let's do it. All right. Buck number one and buck number two. There's a little bit of a size difference. Just a little bit. Here's Waylon. You guys saw our video a few videos back. We got this cute little guy to breed our Nigerian dwarfs. He's still a baby, although he has tried to breed them, so we shall see. Time will tell if they're bred or not. And then today we went and picked up this guy. His name is Guy. His head's in a bucket because he is eating. <laughs> And uh, we set up a temporary pen in the barn because it's just so cold outside. I don't think it'd be great. He's an older buck, um, kind of past his prime, but he's still still great for <laughs> breeding. Um, it's great genetics. Great genetics, very good genetics. So um, we're excited to be able to borrow him and use him and get our four Nubian does bred. Nobody's in heat right now. We already kind of, well, there was a little bit of chaos. <laughs> We let him in the barn and all the goats got in and they weren't fighting or anything, but they're definitely checking each other out. But he checked out all the ladies and nobody's in heat right now, so. Um, but I'm sure they will be. But we got some hay in here for him. We got him a bucket of water. We'll fill it back up and he had some feed. And yeah, we're excited. <laughs> Waylon, uh, Waylon thinks that he's bigger than him. He's already been making faces at him. <laughs> So, <laughs> yep. he's like, where's all the ladies? Him, <laughs> making faces at him. I don't know if you mean. I know. I think I know what you mean. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. But Look at Gee. He's like, well, I put my head in a bucket and now all the ladies are gone. <laughs> what happened? They'll be next door and hopefully, uh, I don't think he can get over that. We'll find out. <laughs> hopefully not. Hopefully not. That's very similar to what they had him yeah. in. Yep. Uh, we'll just have to watch our Nigerian dwarf dolings. Uh, all three of them have been in heat, and he was chasing them. Waylon was, so we're hoping. This big fellow. Yeah. With, with singe marks all over when he lays up against the wood <laughs> he stove. He does. He gets right up, and his fur is so thick. It's still, like, super thick, but the top of his uh, coat there got singed. He's so funny. Um, but hopefully, we'll find out. Hopefully, the because well, we will have to keep the Nigerian dwarfs away from him if they come in heat, obviously, because... He's way too big to breed them, but he was doing his best to try to breed them in the last couple weeks, so we'll find out. But we're super excited because David goes for the best, and I can't wait. All right, well, thank you guys for joining us today on this very freezing cold January day, and we appreciate y'all. If you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe, and he's going to pee. <laughs> And if you hit the notification bell, YouTube will let you know when we upload a video. Give us a thumbs up so YouTube will know that you're enjoying what you see. Please comment below and we'll catch you guys next time.